right, this is uh, another way to get texture. And actually, a, a good example of this, again, would be on a rock. Uh, you don't have to use every tool and every technique on everything. You can do them different ways, uh, different times. It just kind of depends on what you're, what you're going for. In this case, I'm going to use a, maybe a palette knife and a little scraping tool uh, that's really handy. So uh, you can also use a cut up credit card of some kind if you want to, or um, some, some other kind of a thing to just scrape with. But uh, try various things and you'll be surprised at how, what different looks you get. So let's go back to uh, thinking about a rock again. And I'm gonna put just a basic, um, let me put a couple of extra colors in here. I'm gonna start with a raw sienna. Okay, and we're just gonna put that on just like that. Just a big rock shape. Now I'm going to drop in some darker colors. I want this uh, paint to kind of sit in the paper just a little bit. Okay. Actually, maybe put a little more. And we'll drop another little color here and there just for the purpose of the demo. Okay. Now, as you're watching this, once again, you can uh, do it about any time you want to, but if you do it too soon, sometimes the scraping causes a dark uh, edge as opposed to lifting the paint. So I kind of like to let the paint soak in just a little bit before I start lifting. And I take one edge of the uh, scraping tool. The nice thing about this is this has different sizes of edges. So if you have a big rock, you can use this. If you have a tiny little something you want to uh, scrape out, you can use one of these other ones. So let's just try the medium sized one. And I'm going to just, uh, let's try that one first. Thinking about scraping the top of the rock so it looks very hard edged. So I just Press it and pull, and then I pull down, and then I might skip a space and pull up again and pull down. Okay, clean it, and then maybe this area back here, uh, if you don't exactly get the shape that you want, you can always come back and go over it. Now, notice you've got a lot of paint left. It didn't have a lot of time to to soak into the uh, paper. So I'm going to just lift that just a little bit. But the nice thing is it, it's going to, that will also give you some darker texture. You can also use a palette knife. And if you want to draw maybe some little finer lines, like if the, there might be a crack in the rock or something like that, you can use your palette knife to actually kind of go in and scrape some finer lines across it. Or another thing I like to do is right at the edge, lift so it's almost like you're making grass by lifting the paint in front of the, uh, in front of the rock. Okay, uh, And once again, various stages will give you various looks. If you do it too soon, it's going to bleed back into it and it'll be dark. Sometimes you want that. Then you can wait and when it's drier, scrape it almost back to, to white or light. <laughs>